Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies, and we're uh, we're in shambles right now. It's the new place. We're in a new space. Yep. This is the second official video in the new place. I am basically handcuffed behind my back, so I don't touch this microphone or the table. And Watch today it. we're going to review Remus Six Special Reserve. One of the best bottles last year was its younger. Oh my eye. <laughs> Dude, what? That just exploded. <laughs> Dude, there's oh, a oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude, in my eye. 346 minutes later. Okay, so uh, Remus 6 apparently comes uh, pressurized this year. Yeah, carbonated whiskey. Um, so here's the thing, real quick, just to catch up for everybody. Um, you know, we're gonna get some acoustic panelies and panelies and panel. <laughs> And we're gonna stop using these microphones. Yeah, right now there's just a little bit too much echo yeah. with our other mic setups. We're gonna yeah. do some more uh, testing with those, yeah. try to get it dialed in to where you don't see these. Yeah. We'll be using some different we're mics. Just not there yet. Yeah. We will be there very soon though. There so. is 2% 2008 oh. bourbon in there. So this Remus, this is Remus 6. Yep. Remus Repeal Reserve Batch 6. Five was one of the best value whiskeys, I'd argue, of all time. There's some good age statements in here. They're pretty good ones. They're just a lot younger than last year. Yep. So still a mixture of their 21%, 30% rye, or 36% rye, excuse me. Um, comes out at 100 proof, 50% ABV. High hopes. Oh. We really, really, really enjoyed Remus 5. We, we pretty much said that Remus 5 was like, the realistic budget B tech. That's like findable B tech for people. It was an amazing bottle. I don't. I, don't know I got that. it out. Oh, I put it right here. So Remus Five, just to for comparison of age, it smells great. For comparison of age statements, fifty four percent of Remus Five was two thousand eight. Oh, yeah. It's only two percent of it is two thousand eight. Yeah, and the rest of it was the same age or he older in this bottle. Oh, so Remus 5 just had some Sign hits. That's This is significant. This is 2008, younger. and then most of the base is 2014 and 2012. So. So 10 and 8 year old whiskey. Yeah. Now, full transparency, this was Still good um, age statement on that. sent to us by Remus, by Lux, by oh, yes, Ross and Squibb, whoever owns whatever part of their company at this definitely point. Definitely Lux. no idea. Um, but <laughs> the thing. It's definitely not that totally unrelated company. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, Remus five last year was literally, what is it like first or second place whiskey yeah. of the year type thing? Yeah, I think it was their best available bottle and of it, last it year. It was easily the best value Gosh. in whiskey last year. It was like eighty bucks. I believe the price went up on this this year to like a hundred. We'll, okay. well, let's just for the sake okay. of the argument, since we don't know off the we'll top, we'll judge so it at hundred. Ahead, then it's around a hundred. Okay, dude, Still nose right. super sweet. Got a bunch of oak on it too. Like this reminds, it's very oaky. This reminds me. This is kind of like a throwback to the old MGP single barrel days. You know what this reminds me of? Sweet peach tea. But but it's oaky though. It we is get oaky. that a lot on younger MGPs for sure. It's and I, I know what you're there. talking about. Yeah. In the in the the scratching back, I think there's a little hint of like some graininess, which is weird because, like I said, most of this is eight and ten year old whiskey. Yeah. But there's still like that corn like mealy note almost back there. It's really good. Okay, this is also first sip, so like, you know, maybe we don't judge the whole thing. Is, is it just kind of fade away? There? Oh, yeah. But it kind of left too. It's a little spicy. Kind of left and, the door open. a lot of whiskey today. Just kind of gave her one of those like, boom, and then walked away. Didn't even enter, just. Just breaking? Just not a B and E, just, just a B. B. Okay. Um, <sighs> I thought it lingered a little bit. But I feel like the warm fingers, burning. but not the flavor. That that I agree with because it's a little spicy down mm. through there. Oh, but got it, it yeah, probably is probably is heartburn. Not for you because we got to shoot a poor guesses after this. Oh, that's great news for me. Yep. What proof would you guess this is? Hundred. Nope. Wrong. Way off. Twenty off. I already said it's a hundred proof. Damn. <laughs> They're all hundred. No. Uh, one of them's ninety. One. The they? first one. Yeah. Only the first one. I don't know where they like went. Ninety-three or whatever. Oh, they're right there. Okay. Now here's the thing, off the rip, it doesn't drink as special as five did. Mm. My expectations, mind you, were extremely high. Because uh, of how high five was, or how <laughs> high five was on our list. Yeah, yep. we got there. Um, John and I I'm forgot high. how to do this. Yeah, we haven't I haven't had done to do it this in, this in month. two months. Yeah. Oh. oh, you know what? While we're here, if you guys don't mind like, commenting, and subscribing, and on the comment section, should Sean keep the hair, yes or no? 
Oh man, I keep forgetting about I that. I vote yes. My real life vote is yes. And not to humiliate you. There is some like honey sweetness up front, a little bit of a light, maybe peach apricot. And then I'm getting a weird peanut butter note that I've never gotten in the Remuses before. I think that's the 36% rye mash bill. Okay. From it's a different like era a, though. It's almost like a peanut butter breadiness yes. about it. And you I think it's gotta be that. You right? and I get bready aspects on 36% rye. A lot of them. Of the younger ones. Yep. Which means yeah, the more like, the newer distillate. Yeah. So I want, this is a new, so 2014, there's a 36% rye in here. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. 25% of it. And then 17% of it. So then, honestly, I wonder if, like, the distillation person, like the master distiller, I wonder mm -hmm. if Greg Metz was there and then wasn't at that time. I don't know. But there are definitely differences in the whole flavor profile in general. This was like blackberries and fruit and sweet syrup and compote. And you said those exact same note tasting notes for Benchmark Top Floor. Right. I fucking and I quit. And I agree. And Benchmark Top Floor was just as good as Remus 5. Real quick, not used to having to walk across the building to get a Glen. Yeah, it's like normally three feet, like three feet, like three steps. I'm there. I smell that. You have Remus, Remus 5? 5. Okay, that's fine. Just, just whiffer. Yeah. So it's not Remus 5. That smells like baby rhetoric. Yes. Like ba Re Remus 5 is literally baby rhetoric. Yes. And this, uh, unfortunately, is a step back, I think. But it's okay. Not every release can be better than the next one. That's <laughs> not the expectation. <laughs> Nothing has ever done that, right? Oh, no. It's not. That's so oily. We can't compare them. Like the it's, the viscosity in the mouth with that. Yeah. It's it a, coats that sweet. There's marshmallows in there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Remus 5 is still a hitter, come to find mm -hmm. out. And now I have to try this. It's sweet. Oh, but when you go back, it almost it smells younger. But I kind of like that. I think there's more fruitiness in this uh, in the Remus Six uh, compared to the Remus Five. Remus yeah. Five definitely is more the the caramel oak. Whoa, it's bready as hell now. Yeah. <laughs> yep. The bread that thirty six percent rye. The breadiness you a lot of get it in there. there. There's a lot. Now, what there's I will a say, a lot of it. That's one of the most effervescent whiskeys I've ever had in my entire life. Mm. The tingle on the front of your tongue. It's not even like spice tingle. It's just literally like carbonation. It's freaking wild. See that drink spicier than 100 proof. It really does. Yeah. I've, I keep getting that huge rye bite from it. What's 25 plus 17? 42? Yeah. Am I that good at math now? Wow. That was so lucky. It's crazy. 42% <laughs> of this is 36%. I'm pretty rye. sure the, the shock is going to come through on my face because I was like, yeah, that's right. That was right. Like quickly. Fucking quick mass, dude. 42% <clears throat> um, of that is 36% rye. So 42% is high rye mass. Yeah. Though. And uh, it makes sense. It really does drink spicy. It I get the peanut butter. The more almost we do drinks it, like a burr rye. The more we, uh, yes, I agree. Yeah. Holy shit. Some, Whoa, that's it. About that's, it no, you're it. right. Oh man, it, it's, it drinks like a Lost Monarch almost. It's got that citrus almost. Yeah. Like that's what I keep calling the, the fruitiness oh about it. Oh my gosh, it, it definitely and then does. Now I get all the spiciness from the rye and that peanut butter note is so weird. It's like straight mid palate. It just goes from the, the sweetness into the peanut butter. Fucking, I can't get that out of my head at all. What, I need like a, not an ultra age stated burr rye. Like the four gate isn't gonna work. So Matt's blend from Bardstown is a burr rye as well. Yeah, Will, it doesn't enter this race. I forget this, how funky this Will isn't it is. Even, this isn't even the same distillate, but the, the general concept, that the bready, oh, yeah. it's it's similar. They're different, but that note is there, though. Matt's has got so much more citrus, and this has so much more red fruit and yes. stuff. But, yeah, I get it. The profile, that is 100%. It is that burr eyes often have that bready um, spice to them, and that has this. I I'm a big fan of this bottle. Five was one of the best whiskeys of the whole year last year. I don't think that this is one of the best whiskeys of the whole year this year, but okay. it's really good. Uh, do you have a grade? Yeah. B minus. Mm, at 100? Yep. I, it's gone up. I think if it was 80 still, I think it is probably around that B range for me. It jumping up, it is dangerously close to a C plus. <sighs> Can we it's, compare it's, it to the rest of the market right now though? Market's like wild. whiskey inflation is crazy right yeah, now. Yeah, I get that. There's Mark Nulu that are five years old that are hundred dollars right now, and we like Nulu. It's true. Um, but just inflation of whiskey. I think okay. market entry is like seventy now. B minus. I'm sticking with. Okay, that. so for me, because of current whiskey market, if this were a pre-COVID market, I agree. This is not a hundred dollar bottle. Yeah. 
in the current day market, this being a hundred dollar bottle kind of lines up. If you found it for 90, I'm like, cool, I'd buy it. It still has 90. a lot going on. Yeah. Um, I think it does, missed my finger on that one. I was going for the second point and I missed, but got a lot going on. It uh, definitely drinks interesting. I yeah. think it definitely walks that line closer to a burr rye I, dude, than a bourbon. That burr rye um, note, it fully explains all of that whole flavor profile is fully explained by that one sentence for me, 100%. Mm -hmm. If you're super into burr rye's and you like them, you will, it was, I. they were down and it was super quiet on the computer. That's why I bumped them up. Mm -hmm. um, if you're, you're a shouty kind of man and you're real, like I whisper, I'm a ASMR professional. Okay, whatever you think, Daniel. Um, <laughs> if if you are into burr rise though, this is by 100. percent Yeah. If you're not, try at a bar with or somewhere. Try yeah. at a buddy's house. It'll it'll, it'll be I, out there. I'm gonna There's go, a lot of I'm it. I'm gonna go B plus at the price range. Oh wow. I okay. do. I, but I love burr rise. Chill. Uh, anyways, <laughs> we're the bourbon junkies. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, Let us know what you think. Oh, in welcome the back to Reddit. Here we go. <laughs> And we'll see and you on the, the next first one. Actual oh, real dude, it's bottle flip in the hut. Just caught it like it wasn't even a big deal. It's not we the real one. You. The first one was on Tuesday night live stream. Sure. Lying to people now. Post in the park. Oh, we should start talking over our patron credits. <laughs>